Every so often, one finds something in the bush that is easy to identify. This was not one of those occasions, but I will tell you that I have identified this. After I've told you that I think that Taylor's being unkind about my second favorite grass, first favorite here, the yellow thatching grass. Um, I think it tastes better than a three out of 10. Uh, but you know, Taylor has odd tastes in various things. And I'm very pleased that she's found a spotted bush snake. I think that's wonderful. Right, over here, we had one of those rare occasions where I stopped, I didn't know what it was, and the very first page I opened my book to, there it was. It's called a canary nettle, or Sphidamnocarpus prurinens. Sphidamnocarpus prurinens, say that, after, well, just after a night, basically. You wake up in the morning and say Sphidamnocarpus prurinens, and I suspect you will have some trouble. And what it is, is it's a creeper, and you can see that it's growing here, if I move it around a bit, on top of a Strychnos madagascarensis plant. So there it is, and it's wrapped itself all the way around the Strychnos plant, that's this one here. And that's how it grows. So it's Fidamnocarpus prurinens, the canary nettle. Uh, I don't know why it's called a nettle, it certainly doesn't have very spiky uh, feel to the leaves. My hands don't feel at all pained by its experience with the canary nettle, but there it is. And apparently it has a winged fruit, but it hasn't started to fruit yet because it is still in flower. So eventually these, I suspect, will become the winged fruits.